this is Melanie with Melanie B's Creative Studio and today I'm gonna bring you a diamond painting. I know I haven't done diamond painting much lately. Um, a lot of my materials, my tools, and my kits are down and had been moved to my mother's home when we thought we were getting evicted. So like my entire art room setup is down there. So her third level is where all my equipment is and my stuff. So I have not physically been able to go get it and bring it down for uh, three levels. Um, it's all my modular storage and everything. So I grabbed this painting the other day so that I could do a review on paint with diamonds and also do a review after this one with a new set of diamond painting tools that I was um, requested to review. So we'll talk about this in a minute, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and start with this little baby diamond painting from Paint With Diamonds. Now I'm gonna admit, I've had this painting about a year and I have never done a review because at the time I wasn't back on YouTube yet. I was still working a full-time job. So I hadn't even started it, I hadn't reviewed it or anything. Paint With Diamonds may have changed some things since the time where I purchased this, but it's so beautiful. And I thought we would just kind of do a quick review of it and discuss just some of the components, this particular painting from this company. So it comes with a very nice kind of plasticky fabric canvas. I can't even kind of, I really can't describe this canvas. On the back, it feels like it's got that uh, fabric material on the front, it's just a slick type of plastic I guess the thing that I noticed is we've got our image here but we've also got it here so that we have it a couple places which is really nice just because it's good for reference the schematic on this side is very clear so that's a good thing they've also included our basic tools we have a large wax piece we have our diamond painting drill pin, a pair of tweezers, and a mini tray with a funnel. And I'm gonna open this up and show you. So you just see it's an extra large piece of the wax. The diamond painting tool also has, I think this is a six positioner multi-placement tool uh, on the back. And then your single drill pin on this side. Nice tweezers and then this little tray. So I'm gonna set these aside. And let's talk about this canvas for a minute. Now, when I have done prior reviews, I have talked about how much I love a clear layer on the top instead of the white paper. But then I learned a while back that the ones that are like this, it's a different type of adhesive. It's like a double-sided adhesive. The one with the plastic layer on the top, those are a poured adhesive. So there's a different texture, there's a different type of adhesion. Now in my experience, I have loved the poured adhesives. So the double-sided adhesives is not necessarily a bad thing, I just feel like it doesn't hold it as well sometimes as uh, the, the other ones. So you can see I've got a little bit of folding in here, a ripple. And once my drills go down, usually I have eliminated that problem in the past. So there are some rivers going through here. And that is probably more because I've had this in storage for a year. So that may not be the issue from the company. First, let's check the tackiness. So this diamond painting has very good tack to it. And I know that they have probably even improved that since the time where I ordered this. So I, you know, I have to feel like it's even, if it's not, if it's not like this, it's even better at this point. So this is a square drill painting that I selected. And it is a very small one. So a 30 by 20 centimeter. And I will put the conversion in the description below for inches. But this will be a very small piece, and that is why I chose a square drill. Square drills fill in every single place on your canvas so that you get more detail when you purchase a smaller diamond painting. So normally now, I go for a minimum of 40 by 50 in a diamond painting if I'm using round 
and that is the absolute minimum. But this one I had ordered in square, and so since I haven't done it yet, I'm not sure about the detail once it's complete. So I thought this was a pretty quick little project and for a diamond painting, that this might be one that I will do a kind of a diamond painting with, you know, paint with me type of video. Now that we've kind of talked about our canvas, our schematic is very legible, very easy to read. The symbols are very clear. So that is a super nice feature. Let's open this package of the drills and let's look at what we have. Now, we have our drills. They're little bags because we don't have a lot of, of surface area to cover, but they're very clearly marked. So 603 is, you know, given, they're giving me quite a few of that. That's gonna be the predominant color and 604 it looks like. I will check these and make sure I have all of the drills. And then we're gonna test a few on our canvas. I like to work left to right, but the issue with a diamond painting working left to right is that your hand is on the, can be on the adhesive. So with the paper type of cover, you can tear off the section you're working on if you want, and then you're, you're okay at that point. But mo most of the time, I will start in a very small section and work left to right, you know, I can I can start here. I just wanna make sure I'm keeping my hand off of my, my adhesive. And I'm only gonna pull back the amount of paper that I need to reveal what I'm working on. Because if I put a lot of paper back like this, anything that's in the air that's flying around, like any kind of dust, any anything can stick to this exposed area. So I do keep it protected by keeping it covered. Now, another thing that I like to do is with the paper one, I will tear a flap up and work on this section and then I can put that down or I can just pull it off once I'm done with this section. But that is how I work when it comes with a paper top like this, okay? Let's try a few drills down here in the corner. I'm gonna get number seven which is going to be 3806. Now, before I start a diamond painting, what I do is I go ahead and open all of my bags. I put them in the 28 container, 28 piece container um, with a little pop top. And then I mark on the top with a Sharpie or a label what color number it is. And then I put them all in order. Oh, I forgot, I'm sorry. They also come with the little baggies for those who are just starting out and may not have any of the other storage containers. You can use the little bags and pour the excess down in the bag. You can label the bag with a Sharpie with a number. And that's how you can use these little baggies that come with your painting. So I'm going in with 3806 and gonna pour out some of these in my tray. Now, when I shake my tray, these little trays, I cover this little tip with my hand and then I shake. And then you're gonna take it and tilt it back a little bit. And this is how I get mine lined up, is I just kind of shake it back and forth gently. I don't want my, I don't want my uh, drills come flying out. And then I just kind of tilt it back and shake it this way until all of the little square drills are back in here in this section. It might not be perfect right now, but it's okay because I just wanted to do a little bit of this painting. Now, when I'm working with a square drill, I keep my tray very close and I keep it lined up in the direction that my drills are going down. So what I mean is, is that if my tray is straight, then I can set my square drills down straight. Now I'm gonna do this very slowly. But you see what I mean? I'm not having to turn and try to get it straight, but if you keep it straight, then it will go on straight down here as well. Squares can be a little bit trickier than a round drill but they're great because they really give you a lot more clarity in the picture. The square drills are a little bit smaller than the round drills, and that is why you will see 
um, that there's more to a pack than if it was round. But what I really am checking right now is to make sure this adhesive is super sticky and it's not gonna let my drills fall off. And I picked up this one crooked, so I'm gonna go back and get it straight. When I'm not recording and I'm just working on my diamond paintings, I will hold it very close like this. But again, I've got it lined up so that it'll be straight when I put it down. So what I'm gonna do to make sure those are down is I'm gonna put the paper back down and just kind of push. I usually use a brayer, which is just a rolling, like a rolling pen that's about this wide. And it just gives my, my uh, square drills a firm press and it'll stick to the adhesive better. But here we go, let's look at this. So the drills are very pretty, very faceted, very sparkly. Now a square drill piece will not have as much sparkle as a round. A round has more facets on the little drills. So that is why a round will sparkle more, but a round is more pixelated unless you go with a large size. Okay, so that's what we have. And I feel like those are not coming off. They're very stuck on, which is perfect. So that is it for this review, you guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description for how to go find Paint with Diamonds. And check out their website. They have a ton of selection. I mean, like beautiful pieces. So that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. and. And join me on Patreon. I have a new Patreon account where I'll be doing some exclusive things. And I will come back another day and explain to you what that's all about. But for today, thanks as always for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.